Hi, what I'd like to talk about a little bit right now is uh, painting rocks. And just to go through and say it's not very hard. And to show uh, maybe a, a good way to go about setting up your palette for them. So I'll put my palette right up here. I've got white. I've got uh, cadmium pale light or uh, pale. Cadmium red and ultramarine blue. So with uh, you know, these three colors, you can mix up anything you want. It's probably a good place to start before you go and you use uh, burnt sienna or something like that if you want to. And in fact, uh, just using these three colors might even work better for you than buying different ones. So to get started here, I'm going to mix up a purple with the the red and the blue. So see if I can do it up here or not. Right, so this is going to be my one of my darker colors. So put it right here with this knife. You can also do this with a brush, but the knife is going to clean off easier too. Alright, so I have a nice dark purple very much on the blue side right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this yellow right here and right over here. I'm not going to mix it into all of it. I want I want a little separation between the dark purple and this yellow. I'm going to put a little red in there. Make something of an orange. And then once that mixed with the blue, what I get is a, a, a gray or a brown. So I'll move a little over there. And that color can be either greenish, can be purplish, can be orangish, all these different things just depending on, you know, the mixture of these. So With something like that we can get started on this rock. And put a little more red in there. Okay. So basically what I have is I have two dark colors, one that is somewhat warm, it's got red in it, and, and a lot more yellow, and the other which is cool, so all the rock takes is just putting in the form of it, so right up here, th this is a uh, just a pad of paper, because it's just demonstration, maybe we'll do a painting later on a, on a canvas, so if I want a rock, rocks come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, but maybe this one is something like I don't know. Something like this. And Okay. Now then we, we have to pick where our light's coming from. So usually you want to have the light be interesting. So so the light either would be from over here coming down or it could be from over here coming down. And we, we wouldn't usually have the light coming from back here and shining on it because it creates no shadows for us to see. It. It's not not interesting. So I'll just put in a little more color in there just to smear some around. And then uh, let's take our dark color. I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say the light's coming from up over here. So this is going to be have some dark in it all along this side. It's going to be pretty dark. And all we're doing right now is just just putting in a shape. The shape's the most important part. Once you have a shape, you can have anything else. One thing that works well with rocks is sometimes you can just put the brush flat against the canvas, so like that, and then just barely touch, and and you'll see how it kind of uh, doesn't doesn't cover everything. It comes off just little by little here and there, creates nice texture for rocks. So there's one thing to share, and then uh, we'll just kind of darken this. 
side over here. Now if I were using a canvas this wouldn't be as as uh, blurry around the edges. But it doesn't really matter for this, so more Okay. So we've got our basic rock shape here. And it's got lots of different just we thought about, you know, where where's the light gonna be? If the light's hitting on some side over here the rest of this side is going to be dark, so we've gone and we've tried to accentuate that. I'll go and make some areas very dark, just to really say, here's an edge on the rock that that we can see, and and it creates a big shadow. So what that does is it makes our rock interesting. Okay, so now we've got an interesting rock, right? Let's say we want to throw in that light. Now what we've got to do is mix up a warm color to the light. So I'm going to wipe off my knife here. Now it's nice and clean. I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow. And you'll see I have the white way down here. The reason I have the white way down there is because I don't want it to get too dirty. So let's see. This is going to be a pretty light color. I'm going to mix it right... Where can I put this for you guys? Right here. And then grab a little bit of the yellow. Mix that in there. And I'm going to pick up just some of this right here, okay? And just kind of mix the two. Alright, so now I have that nice light color. Now I don't need a lot of it because this is the highlight. It's what I'm going to use the least of. You can grab whatever brush you want. Maybe uh, a square one will be best because, or a flat one, you know. It doesn't have rounded corners and uh, should be able to let the paint come off it pretty easily. So, pick up some of that there on the brush. And then, right along, just right where the light's going to be, we'll just a little bit here and there. Maybe a little right on here. And we made a big shadow there, so that's got to be picking up a lot of the light. And I'm just moving it around a little bit here and there. And then you might have to go back and uh, just oh, wipe our brush off. Didn't get enough off. Okay, might have to go back a little bit and just kind of tease the paint here and there and soften it a bit. It's very easy to rework the edges. And last but not least, sometimes what you get is you get a little reflected light. And the reflected light is, uh, it, it, when you're outside anyways, it's usually a bluish color. So it's going to be basically the opposite of whatever your light color is. So I'm going to just grab a little bit right there. A little bit of blue from our, from our very purpley gray mixture. So now I've got a purplish bluish color. And I'm just going to right back here. This is you don't have to do this, but sometimes it's it's nice to do. Let's add a little bit. Just to shape our rock a bit more. Alright, and you know, that's how easy rocks are to paint. It's not difficult at all.